There's a sweet anointing in this house tonight. Very sweet. You can just stand here and be touched by the Lord. But there is that place where we are sold out. Truly sold out. See, when you're truly sold out, you don't have to figure it out. <laughs> when you have to try and figure it out, you're not sold out yet. <laughs> you're too busy calculating carnality. <laughs> and who can calculate God? <laughs> Your calculator isn't fast enough or strong enough or big enough. <laughs> but when you're truly sold out there's no fear there's no worry sold out s-o-u-l-o-u-t sold out <laughs> hello that means you're not going to be led by your emotions you're not going to be led how you feel, how you think. <laughs> Old flawed belief systems, the woe is me syndrome, unworthiness, all of those things of the world. When you're sold out, the world cannot affect you. Only open doors allow affected things to happen to you. That doesn't mean that things won't happen. It means that they're not, you're going to not allow the circumstances to move you. Amen? Not even water moved Jesus. He just walked on it. Hey, Peter did too. Then fear gripped him. And he started the sinking. And Jesus said, oh, you little faith. <laughs> See, what he was saying to him, hold on to the vision. See, because the enemy always tries to bring you another vision. You may have the vision of being healed. You may have the vision of being free. You may have the vision of worshiping and dancing before God. And then just before you're getting ready to receive, the enemy comes in and replaces it with another snapshot. And then you begin to see what the enemy is showing you instead of what God already predestined for you. That's why it's so important to worship and so, 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 so to your sold out. <laughs> Amen? Praise God. Lift your hands to heaven. Father, I thank you. I thank you. And as you continue to fill us, even when we leave here tonight, Yes. Let your face shine upon us, Lord. Let your countenance uplift us. Go before us as a consuming fire. And let revelation, confirmation, manifestation, and impartation manifest in us and through us. And even in the next few days, as your presence and revelation and glory increase in us. Let us speak just as John spoke. Let us decrease that you may increase. Hmm. Now, Lord, I bless your people. I ask that you keep them healthy and strong and sensitive with clarity that they know and discern what is unclean, clean, unholy, and holy what is true and what is false, what is compromised and complacent, what is laziness, what is going the extra mile or cheating oneself, what is honor and what is dishonor. Lord, bring us to that other level that you so desire us to walk in, that other place where we walk with you heart to heart hand to hand and cheek to cheek 
where we walk with you in one accord, like-minded. Bring us to that place. And let the fire and the anointing continue to uphold us and flow through us as we give Jesus all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to minister to you tonight. In Jesus' name. And everybody said amen. amen. Hallelujah. Be blessed. See you Sunday.